Welcome to this uh, computer system. We keep developing, of course, even though we've just uh, launched our ISOs. But um, I was reading up about encryption. It's not an easy subject. And I came across something that might interest people as well. Something else. So it's not about encryption. It's about swap files. You know, when I do an installation, I never use swap. I have 16 gigabytes. I can use eight, for instance, for a virtual box and eight for the other. So no need for, to have a swap file for me. Then I saw an uh, article somewhere or, and I thought, hey, I had a what if, you know, um, what if you have installed your system uh, without swap and you actually want to have swap. So what I would have done in the past is go to cheap parted and actually resize this thing, resize and then start changing things in here. If I were able to, I don't know if it's possible, it might be that it's mounted and that's not possible and I need to go via a USB or a DVD and use the Gparted application to just resize this thing and make another um, partition. But there is also the possibility to make a swap file. So that's the, the topic of the video, how to add a swap to your system without changing the hard disk partitions and having more memory basically because the swap file is, is going to kick in if you're filling up your RAM and there is no more space left he's going to use a swap file that's basically his uh, goal so let's um, have a look the thing we need to do is First off, we need to be sudo for everything. So if you see me type something wrong, it needs to be sudo all the time. Minus L. And we could take something like two gigabyte swap for eight gigabyte swap. So let's see if it's possible. Um, not sure, Control alt T, if I have that much available on my machine. So it says here 20 gig, eight used, 11 available. So that's gonna work. So I'm gonna say eight gig of swap and then tell him that is going to use a file in the root swap file. Then, then we're gonna change some uh, <coughs> settings here, changing the modus of this particular swap file. And then we are going to use the swap file in the sense that we're gonna make it actually not yet use make swap swap file that's good and you can do a sudo make swap um, on but not necessary I mean we'll reboot and we'll see what we're gonna do that's more important is going for an echo and we're going to type, this is just a code, command code, you can copy paste later on, but it's actually opening up an etcfs tab and adding something to it. I'm gonna say swap file and then none and then swap sw00, close it up and we're gonna put it behind, append it to etc fs tab now maybe before i do an enter <coughs> a nano etc fs tab is not a bad idea so this is what we have now like i said just one thing there is no swap available that's it when we press this button in enter he says of course sudo forgot it again but not in the front in front of this guy sudo t and then we can ask this one again, control X, and it should have this text, this extra text, cancel, control X. Let's do a cat etc fs tab. Didn't make a typo, so what's going on? Uh -huh. I did make a typo, fs tab right so 
there you have it. We have now the FS tab, swap file, non swap SF. So basically, I created some kind of file there, sudo remove and etc. I created F tab something. Yep, that's the name. So that needs to be gone. Cleaning up. So here's a typo F tab, FS tab. That's the correct one. So now that's. Uh, that's okay as long as it's in there. Now we should be able to reboot it since um, we have put, we've activated our swap file, we've put it in FS tab, we've checked it, and that's all you can do, that's all you need to do. Then we reboot the system and we see what's gonna happen here. So we're back. You won't see anything in Gparted since that application is for partitions and swap is a file, right? So that's all looking normal. Now we need an, uh, something to tell us, hey, what, what changed? And what we can do is we can type swap on and ask for the devices. So you see we have a device there, swap file thing. There is also the possibility to check out the proc and then meminfo, that's it. Bigger. Memory available, that's uh, I guess my machine here. And swap total, that's our swap total and swap free. So it is indeed active and uh, well, it, it's, it's a fun thing to do for educational purposes, but maybe you'll need some more space and this is how you do it if you have a system installed without swap, just one partition, no swap partition, then you can always add a swap file afterwards and that's of course interesting to know. Alright, have fun!